The Responsive Phase Methodology, or RSM, is a collection of mathematical and statistical techniques that are useful for the modeling and for the analysis of problems, in which a response of interest is influenced by several variables, and the objective is to maximize this response. The slide shows an experimental region where the response increases as the color becomes darker. Let's imagine that we have designed our first experiment, a twin the power of k design with central points, to understand the behavior of the system. And the final objective is to maximize the response. This design will give information on which variables affect the response and some clues about interactions and linearity. As we didn't know anything about the system when we began to study, the first design, that are the starting operation conditions, are far from the maximum. As the contour lines in this region have little curvature, we can describe the behavior by a linear model. Although the linear model does not show the maximum response, it shows the path of improvement that, if followed, can drive the experiment to the vicinity of the optimum operation conditions. In this region, the behavior of the response is not linear anymore, so we must use a quadratic model to describe it and to locate the region of maximum response. The process of following the path of improvement is called the method of the steepest ascent. In the next lessons, we will follow all the steps of a response surface methodology, a starting design, following the steepest ascent, and the final design to locate the set of conditions that maximize the response.